stress. We all know the feeling. Our heart beats fast, our stomach tightens up and cramps up, our palms get sweaty. We either become angry and feel like screaming, or we fall silent and feel like we can't speak. It happens to us all the time, when we have to speak in front of a classroom or take part in a competition, when something frightening happens, or when we're waiting for an important message. Why didn't she answer me? Life is so stressful sometimes. But wait a minute, what makes us feel so stressed out? Is it all the people around us? Our family, our teachers, our friends? Is it all of our chores and responsibilities? Homework, after school activities, tasks? Yes, but those aren't the only causes. Where does all the stress come from, you ask? From the brain, of course. But not from just any part of the brain, from a very specific part of the brain called the brainstem. The brainstem is the primitive brain located at the base of the human brain. When the brainstem recognizes that we are in danger, it takes control of our body and our actions. The heart rate goes up in order to move oxygen throughout the body. The sweat glands work vigorously to cool us off. And the muscles tense up so that we are prepared for action. And so in prehistoric times when we walk through the forest, enjoying the birds singing, the trees and fresh air, if a lion suddenly showed up out of nowhere wanting to devour us, Well, one option was to flee. Wait, don't be scared. Come back, it's just a drawing. A second option was to fight back. And the third option was to freeze in place so that maybe the lion wouldn't see us. And so we have three different types of reactions to danger, which are called the three Fs. The flight reaction, which means to flee, the freeze reaction, which means we can't move, and the fight reaction, which means we fight back. It turns out that stress is very important for our survival. When does it become a problem? The type of stress that helps us is called positive stress, and it encourages us to take action and to achieve the things we dream of. The type of stress that hinders us is called negative stress, and it paralyzes us and makes it difficult for us to achieve our goals. Now let's see how you respond to stressful situations. Pop quiz! Take a sheet of paper and a pencil. Now look at the picture in front of you very carefully. You have 10 seconds to write down all the animals that you saw in the picture. And we're starting. Finished. Were you able to remember all the animals? Did you feel pressured? Did you freeze? Now, try to think which of the three F's was triggered in you. Were you all over that assignment? Did you flee with your thoughts to a distant place? Or did you freeze, unable to name even a single animal? Each one of us has a response that takes place automatically, without us even thinking about it. It just happens to us. It's important to be aware of how we react to stress. If we know the different options, we can control our response. We just need to know how to do it. In the following episodes on our website, we will learn just how we can help ourselves in times of stress.